Frederick Douglass was a former slave, best remembered for helping to abolish slavery in the U.S. He was born Frederick Augustus Washington Bailey on February 7, 1817, in Maryland. He was born a slave. He went to Baltimore at the age of eight to work for his master's relative. The wife of his new master taught him how to read. He ran away from his master in 1838 and went to New Bedford, Massachusetts. To avoid getting caught, he dropped his two middle names and changed his last name to Douglas. He became known as Frederick Douglass. He got work as a call girl, but other men wouldn't work with him because he was black. He was married to Anna Murray. They had four children. Two years after Anna died, he married his second wife, Helen Pitts. Douglass was able to buy his freedom in 1847. His friends in England helped him raise money. Frederick Douglass died February 20th, 1895 hours after giving a speech about women's rights. Douglas gave his first speech in 1841 at a meeting of Massachusetts Anti-Slavery Society. They were so impressed they hired him to lecture about his life. In 1845, Douglas published his autobiography. It was called Narrative of Life of Frederick Douglas. He was afraid his owner would find him then, so he went to England. He came back to the U.S. two years later. He started a newspaper called the North Star. It fought to abolish slavery. Douglas attended the first women's rights convention in 1848. He helped Elizabeth Cady Stanton get women's suffrage right to vote, put on the list of priorities. During the Civil War, he helped recruit black free men to serve in the Union Army. He fought against segregated schools in Rochester, New York. He succeeded desegregating a school. He gave a lot of respect to a lot of people, including Abraham Lincoln, 